CompTIA A+, Core 2, 220-1102, Practice PBQs. This video is part of our PBQ video series and is filled with information that will help you tackle some of CompTIA's challenging performance-based questions. In this particular video we will be discussing what a PBQ, or performance-based question is. A CompTIA performance-based question, commonly known as a PBQ, is an integral part of most CompTIA certification exams. These special questions are designed to assess practical skills and knowledge, while mimicking real-world scenarios. These interactive problems come in various types, including simulations, drag and drop, matching, and fill in the blank. Pretty much anything but multiple choice. PBQs play a significant role in evaluating a test taker's ability to apply theoretical knowledge effectively. Once you start your exam, these will be the first questions you encounter. While the exact number of performance-based questions can vary, you are likely to experience 3 to 5 PBQs on the CompTIA A+, Core 2 exam. Each of these questions will present a scenario. Now this is important. You must read the entire scenario carefully. There are often multiple parts to each of these questions, and even a single word can have a huge impact on how you proceed. Just below the questions, you will be provided with some instructions. This section will provide basic information on how to submit your answer or interact with the simulation environment. Next, you need to have a planned approach for performance-based questions. As you prepare to tackle these questions, it's essential to cultivate a mindset that embraces challenges with clarity and composure. Despite the initial complexity or unfamiliarity that PBQs may present, staying composed allows you to approach them with confidence. Furthermore, your approach should encompass a thoughtful consideration of time management. It's a common practice for test takers to prioritize multiple choice questions and attempt them first. These questions typically offer quicker responses and may provide an early boost in confidence as you progress through the exam. By addressing multiple choice questions first, you can swiftly cover a significant portion of the exam content, potentially establishing a foundation of knowledge and building momentum for the remainder of the test. However, it's crucial to strike a balance in your approach to time management. While focusing on multiple choice questions first has its advantages, it's imperative not to allocate too much time to them at the expense of PBQs. PBQs often require more time and careful consideration due to their complex nature. Neglecting these questions or rushing through them towards the end of the exam can significantly impact your overall performance. Alternatively, some test takers opt for a different approach by addressing PBQs earlier in the exam. By tackling PBQs sooner rather than later, you can allocate more time and mental energy to these tasks. This approach may be advantageous if you prefer to tackle challenging questions when your mind is fresh and alert. Additionally, completing PBQs early in the exam can alleviate the pressure of potentially rushing through them under time constraints towards the end of the test. Ultimately, the most effective approach depends on your individual preferences, strengths, and testing strategies. Regardless of your chosen approach, it's essential to remember that every point counts towards your overall score. While it is possible to pass the exam without attempting a single PBQ, it is advisable to tackle them to maximize your chances of success. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.